Suzuki has established a big name for itself in the small car market. The Swift was one of the original city cars and is still popular today. And now they're up to their sixth generation, Danny. So let's see if this all new model can live up to its famous predecessors. Most people I knew, their first car was either a Holden Barina or a Suzuki Swift. And uh, it's good to see that it's still going strong years later. Yeah, it's certainly, you know, it's been popular. It's been popular for a reason because it has provided that sort of affordable transport. You know, it's a good, it's a good little city car. It has been, yeah, for now, six generations. So, what do you think though of this new look model? It's, it's kind of pretty funky on the outside. Yeah, I really, really like the look. Uh, you know, it retains that sort of cheekiness to it. Uh, it's urban and very funky. The inside, though, I have to admit, I feel like I'm stepping back in time when I look at uh, this interface. Yeah, look, it's a it's a pretty old school infotainment system, but you got to remember this is a you know this costs sixteen nine ninety. It's a pretty affordable new car, so you are going to miss out on a few little goodies. But for another thousand bucks, you can get the GL Navigator, which I tested recently, mm. which brings Suzuki's latest touchscreen infotainment system. But it also gives you alloy wheels, mm. a reversing camera, and of course nav. So you know for another thousand bucks, it's actually a pretty good deal. But you know for this car. Yes, it's basic, but uh, I don't mind it. I think the rest of it is quite funky. It's, it's actually well laid out, well thought out, the cabin. There's actually decent space mm. for what is such a small car on the outside. Yeah, the interior is simple, but neat. Cheap plastics aside, it does yeah. look good. Uh, steering wheel is quite nice yeah. as well. I think you do need a reverse camera because the design at the back, though, it is a bit hard, um, you know, your blind spot area. Yeah, you do have some quite big over-the-shoulder blind spots thanks to mm. you know, the exterior design. Mm. It looks nice on the outside, but not so practical inside. And actually, the thing I like about the Suzuki is how it drives, so mm. why don't I give you a turn? Okay. So, Steve, it is a fun little car to drive. I really like this uh, five-speed manual gearbox. It just eases quite well and, uh, you know, very small engine, 1.2 litre, naturally aspirated engine only 66 kilowatts of power 120 newton meters not much on paper but fortunately this is a very light car it is offset by that lighter weight yeah it only weighs like 870 kilos which is yeah, very light by modern car standards so yeah it, it, it hasn't got a lot of power but it doesn't really need a lot of power and, and yeah like you said i think the, the gearbox is nicely matched at the engine i found driving the cvt mm. auto version it keeps up with traffic it you know does all the basics mm. that you expect a little city car to do but I think the, the kicker is what Suzuki's done really well lately is they've, they've honed the chassis quite nicely. Mm. The ride is quite comfortable yep. for such a small car. The handling is quite responsive. The steering isn't the best, but I still I'm still enjoying it. <laughs> I, I just think, I think Suzuki has done a great job recently. And I think this is another example of just doing all the basics right. Mm. It's not fancy. It doesn't have any frills, but it actually does a really nice job, and it's actually yeah quite an enjoyable little city car to drive. Yeah, it is. The one thing I think that is irking me a little bit, obviously, you know, being a mum and a parent is the three-star Euro end cap rating that this got. Uh, if you add safety gear, it becomes four-star. Yeah, it's a bit of a trick, that one, because, yes, three-star rating is not good. I don't mm. think that we can praise a car for a three-star rating, certainly. But where it really suffered is not having things like autonomous emergency braking, mm. which the safety authorities now really push for yep. so generally speaking it's crash protection is actually quite good yeah look I, I like it I, I think I'd have to think twice about it especially you know if this were a first car for my son or daughter or even if it's a car the grandparents are driving for their own safety or they're driving kids so I think anyone who does consider buying this really needs to do their research yeah and I think the thing is if you do your research and have a look get the, like we mentioned the GL Navigator before, but on top of the Navigator for another thousand dollars you can add some of that safety gear like autonomous emergency braking, you can get adaptive cruise control which is pretty cool for a, such a little city car like this. So even then another two thousand dollars on top of this, it's still not a very expensive car and at that price you're getting a lot of gear, a lot of safety. I think it actually makes a pretty strong argument for being one of the better city cars on the market. Yeah, I mean and it's definitely a worthy investment that extra gear. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I think it's another good job by Suzuki.